to the Truth Be Told podcast. I'm your host, Pat. I'm your host, Fred. And today we're going to cover marriage. We're going to get straight into it. We're going to cover marriage. 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 What is marriage? Uh, marriage is a bond between two people, mm-hmm. a union between two people. But the union is supposed to be where two people become one. Mm-hmm. But sometimes it's difficult because <laughs> my beliefs may not be your beliefs. Right. I did not grow in the same household, so therefore my standards are not your standards. Or my goals are not your goals. Your goal may be your family goal, maybe to go to college or something like that. Mm-hmm. My family goal was, you know what, work, provide, you know what, by any means necessary. So sometimes it's hard for the mesh right. to become one. But when you're talking about when you get into marriage, you got to understand this. Always learn your partner's weaknesses and your strengths. Right. Because you don't want their weaknesses to become your weaknesses. You want their strengths to become your strengths Mm -hmm. and vice versa. So when you mention uh, the point of marriage with the family, so how do you feel when when you're looking for a wife, we're looking for a, a marriage, a bun, a, a companion? If it's just a few times, just say one party family don't believe in marriage, and the other one party uh, you know do believe in marriage, can that individual side outside their family and build their own, you know, family and is that healthy, you know. I want to get deep into uh into that point of view of in marriage and building a family because I know you have to branch off eventually a little mm-hmm. bit from your your original family when you when you come to building your your mm-hmm. own family. Now, I hear a lot of people talking about it in, in our in my generation about uh, they basically get to, get to talk to the point where they want to cut their family off to build their own family because you know mm-hmm. they're not satisfied with you know with right. the family. And so, so how do you feel on, on that? Okay, I want to answer that question. Well, let me do one interject one thing first. Okay. Um, first of all, you gotta understand that why people get married. Mm-hmm. Most people don't understand why they get married. So first of all, you get married for first of all, let me give the obvious thing that first will attract you for marriage. First of all, the looks. Mm-hmm. All right, that means the physical attraction. That's the first part. All right, then we're going to talk about the, uh, after the physical attraction. Going to go to our mental. You funny. I mean, you're you're intelligent. Mm-hmm. So that's that second part. And then as it grows, when you get married, you're looking at this. You're looking at okay. You got this nice look, but therefore, when we married as a union, it's about growth. It's about becoming one. It's about saying, you know what? I'm going to start this union to have better than what I have. Because we joining to become stable. Mm-hmm. We don't want to sit around and join and get with someone and get less than what we have now. Right. So we joining to grow. Mm-hmm. So if I say I'm going in and uh, I got $5,000, I don't want to have $5,000 when we join. When we join, I want to have 10, I want to have seven, I want to have eight, I want something right. more. And that's what everybody wants, everybody wants more. So when you're talking about getting together, we get together for different reasons. Some people get together for financial reasons. Mm-hmm. They may say, you know what? Oh, he makes a good job, but she makes she got a good job. She's making a whole lot of money. So therefore, less I gotta do. Or you may go around and say, Oh man, she looks good, man, she looks so good. Man, she looks better than any person I ever saw. So therefore you want to stay to me so okay, man, I wanna get married till I love her. Mm-hmm. But then when you look at this, looks don't last. So do you feel those things that you mentioned? Is it okay to go ahead and be honest from the very beginning and, and mention those things when it comes to marriage? Uh, so you say in the engagement stage, it, mm-hmm. it should be comfortable for them to say, you know, look, I'm looking at you as this type of person. You know, I like you. You know, you, you're attractive. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, you know, I love you. I'm, I'm getting to the point where I love you. I want to be with you. Spend you, spend my rest of my life with you. Uh, should it be a point where you sit down and talk about the gains that each party expect from the marriage and, and the reason? of this marriage. You know what? That would be nice, except for one thing. Remember, we're looking to get married. In order to look to get married, we gotta play the part of trying right. to be a best person right. for that position. Right. So therefore, we have that mask on 
So sitting down and being honest gonna be hard because first <laughs> of all, you got the mask on when you started. Right. So you be like, oh, you know, I got my, you know, I'm sitting high in there and you know, he taking me out to eat mm -hmm. or you know what, uh I'm short on rent, he's helping me pay my rent. Right. So you know what? Sometimes we can confuse love yeah. with help. Right. So we don't want to get to the point where we can sit down and talk. Mm. Kind of hard to sit down and be honest when we all trying to get something. We're trying to hustle people. Right. Everybody trying to hustle somebody. <laughs> Everybody trying to hustle somebody. And then that was a thought because I know that's a rare occasion, but I feel like, you know, that that, that would help a lot of marriage, you know, because like I said, it, it seems like the problems don't come up until once you get, you know, yeah. deeper into the marriage and you look at different, oh, you know, and, and you find out different things. Yeah. But like I said, but like you said, it, in the first initial stage, you don't want to, you don't want to mess anything up. No. You know, both parties want to keep what they got going and, yeah. and, 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 and want it to last forever, right. you know, but like it's unfortunate something in some cases that it might come be about, but that, you know, certain stuff should have been said from the beginning right. and you learned this stuff, but that's, that's, that's the whole part of marriage and, and learning each other, like I said, yeah. and if you do decide to, uh, you, or you feel some type of way about it and, and, and you had plans on it, like I say, you, you throughout the marriage you can communicate and try and try to you know bond together and, and and grow towards the goal that you all want to set. Yeah, you know what? You know sometimes you can say you know what we're looking like this part keep on right. Sometimes it's about control. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's like education. Like some some people get edu educated, and the first thing they think they're better than you. I mean they don't want to say they're better than right. you, but they think they're better than you. So therefore you go ahead on. They want to control you. So therefore if you don't have any education. And you're not making the money, I can control you. Sometimes that's what draws people to marriage. So as you go, as like I said, there's many facets that draw you into marriage. But when you get there, the conversations are not going to really be there because first of all, society's been tearing you apart anyway. Mm -hmm. Society gonna have you working this job, you working this job, sometimes different schedules. Mm -hmm. So you may not see each other that much. So the communication level has to be somewhat great or you got to make time for conversation most of them won't have time for conversation because they too busy talking about work one thing i never do is i never talk about work when i get home work is work and i leave work at work right so if you come at home and you're talking about work you're not talking about yourself and you cannot grow from that point right so if you're going to grow and build on something you got to keep focusing on yourself you got to start making time regardless of anything the most important thing you and your spouse do not get it twisted. It ain't about the money. It ain't about paying the bills. You're going to pay the bills. You're going to work. Sometimes it takes someone to say, you know what? I may have to quit this job. I may have to get me another job. But before you quit, at a job first. Mm -hmm. So get your job working about the same schedule so you can get up together. Mm -hmm. You can go to sleep together. And when you get off, you can communicate together. Right. But see, most of us, we sit around and we're like, oh, man, this job paying me. Twenty dollars an hour, but and then this job over here, they're working the same hour, paying me fifteen. Man, I can't make it off fifteen. It's not about what you make, mm -hmm. it's about what you do, what you have. And remember, we don't have to have a whole lot of stuff that we have. We don't have to have a brand new car. We just need to have a good car. Mm -hmm. If we maintain that car, it'll be all right. But remember, when you're talking about marriage, you got to do all of it. Communication is the key. Mm -hmm. We're not communicating because we're too busy pulling on one end of the spectrum. One person is on this end of the spectrum, another person on that end of the spectrum. Right. But we need to be on one page and one accord. And I, I want to, I want this, I want this subject to last a little while. So I want to do mm -hmm. series, m multiple series on, on marriage because mm -hmm. I know there's a lot, lots of ways we can rear it, and I want to add more people in this conversation. Mm -hmm. But like I said, I. I you know, I, I I I experienced marriage, and I have, and I and I, and I always want to have a, a good understand on how uh, how marriage lasts so long. Like I, I see a lot of you know older couples, and, and they say they you know, they've been married for sixty right. years, fifty years, you know, seventy years. Okay. You know, and, and I really want to get deeper on you know how can it marriage lasts in today's society, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, you know, marriage can last if you understand what's most important mm -hmm. and who you're working for. And remember, 
if you are a guy, remember your main focus and your goal when you work and everything that you in life is about that woman. Vice versa, the woman, everything that she do and everything that she's like to the company life should be about that man. If it's not, if I sit around there and I started doing it, if it's all about me, mm -hmm. the marriage ain't gonna last. But it has to be about the next person. You got to start transferring uh, your most important part. The most important part of you is yourself. So now that when you get married, you have to transfer that most important part to the person you finna live with. Mm -hmm. So therefore, but it has to be a two way street. You have to invest in 100% in her, mm -hmm. and she got to invest 100% in you. You can't just sit around and say, you know what? Uh, I want this. And you should be saying is, what does she want? Mm -hmm. And work to get what she wants. And she should write first say, what does he want? And I need to work to get what he wants. But if I sit around and say, you know what? I want me a brand new truck. I ain't asking her anything. Mm -hmm. I'm just going out there giving me a brand new truck, not seeing the ramification of buying that truck and paying the insurance, paying the you know, has to do with our financial stuff. So therefore, it may affect the household some kind of way, like say for example, paying bills. Mm -hmm. So if I was focusing on her, it wouldn't be a problem. She'd be like, oh, you know, sometimes I don't need this, I need to focus on this right here, it's cool. You're like, okay. And then she start focusing on you, be like, oh, you need this and that for, and y'all sit down, y'all can communicate, y'all can say, you know what, we can get this. So your meaning of that is kind of like, and when I say this, it don't have nothing to do with like paying bills, but it's kind of like coming in like 50 50. So it's kind of like uh, learning each other, right. me knowing her, her knowing me. Right. And I mean, just about that 50 50. Okay. There's no 50 50. Mm -hmm. So it's always somebody's got more to give than somebody else. So right. it's not like I said, we all in the same yoke. That means I got this amount and you got the same amount. Mm -hmm. Nobody goes into marriage with the same amount. You may have a stronger mental capacity on certain subjects. I may not. Mm -hmm. You may be having the gift to gab. I may not. Right. So we can't go in 50-50. So don't go into a marriage and say, you know what? I'm going to pay 50% and you're going to pay 50%. That ain't right. how it works. But if you was focused on that person, it wouldn't matter how much you paint. Mm -hmm. So if I said I'm making more than the woman, I'm not going to sit there and say, you know what? Because I'm making more than you. I'm going to pay the same amount. No, right. I'm going to pay more. Why? Because it ain't about me. Right. It's about her. Mm -hmm. And therefore, she should have to, if she's making the most money, she should have to say, you know what? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to sit around here and uh, I ain't going to pay this because you're going to pay. No. Mm -hmm. We get this sense of entitlement. We think that every, the world revolves around us. It right. doesn't revolve around you. You have to make it revolve around the person you will. But that's how marriages last a long time because first of all, people look at all the other stuff. So you know what things gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Make a commitment at the beginning. Nothing is gonna shake us because our love gonna last a lifetime. And remember one thing about love: too many, many, there's so many definitions of that word. Right. That if your definition of love is different from my definition of love, it ain't gonna work. Mm -hmm. So you gotta be on the same accord. You gotta have the same definition of love. I can't understand why most people sit around and say, I love you today and then I hate you tomorrow. It don't make no sense. Because mm -hmm. I'm thinking of love that I know, love lasts a lifetime. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I may not communicate with you. Right. But I ain't going to say I don't love you, though. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to sit around and say, you know what? Oh, man, that's so-and-so, so-and-so. Then all of a sudden you start calling people names. See, if you wouldn't call yourself names, you wouldn't call her name. And that's vice versa. If you wouldn't hit yourself, don't hit nobody else. See, that's most people get the part of we caught up in ourselves so much. Mm -hmm. And uh, we haven't transitioned that power over to the next person. Mm -hmm. So we got a battle going back and forth between ourselves and trying to let go. Some people will never let go. So once you once you complete that bun, once you get married, you want to draw I and start we. We. We, so as so, soon as soon you get married, the, the, the I don't exist no more. Don't exist no more. And, and you want to understand your spouse enough for, like you said, they could be wanting something, but either they say it or they shouldn't have to say it. You know what I'm saying? You, you should be able to work towards and get what they want, and they should be able to work towards and get what you want. Right. And it comes to a point where it's, 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 it's not like, 
oh, I'm doing this for you, and, and you do it. It, it. it should be. It should just basically what you want to, what you explaining. You want to be able to get to a point. You said, if I buy something for my wife, it's not like I'm buying it for my wife. It's kind of like I'm buying it for myself. It, right. It, it should come down to for us. For us. So right. it, it don't. It's not like I'm giving you this. Why I got you this? It, right. it, 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 just like me try to go to the store and buy me a. You buy something. We say buy a drink. You know, say right. it, it come natural enough for. I'm not buying this for myself. No, this right. is for us. So you know, right. wh- whatever make you happy, make me happy. Right. And or, it should be vice versa. Yeah. Or if you buy a drink, buy two drinks. Right. One for you, one for her. Right. Whether she wanted or not, you did it. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's just little gestures mm-hmm. that you know most people just don't do. You know, you sit around like flowers or we do it on Valentine's Day to get some flowers. You know, on our birthday special occasion. Mm-hmm. We just don't do things just because, you know, babe, I just, I did this because I love you. Mm-hmm. You know what? That may go a long way. Sometimes most people don't want a lot of stuff. They want the little bit part that's showing that you care about them. Right. That you're actually doing something that most people don't do. Mm-hmm. So you got to be able to do a little bit of something. Find out what they like and just do that. I mean, they like candy or something. Like they go into the movies. Mm-hmm. Take them to the movies. Do something, but don't sit there. Like I said, don't and make sure your jobs match. Don't just get to the point where if you sit around and your jobs are going this way and that way, make sure you're saving time mm-hmm. for that person. So that's the most important thing in your life now. Remember, you gave up the eye, and now it's weak. Mm-hmm. So over time in marriage, um me asking you, for example. From from when you first met your spouse up until now, mm-hmm. did you know this stuff prior to getting married, or or it took marriage for you to be able to learn the things that you that you know, or uh, you know how did that like this information we be speaking about? Like how how do you get it? Do it come natural? Mm-hmm. Do you do it? Do it grow within a marriage, or or, or is it good to have other? Uh, married couple that friends would be able mm-hmm. to, to to help you, you know, get through get through a marriage. You know, sometimes you don't want anybody in your business. Mm-hmm. Also, I got the problem. I don't, I don't like to put people in my business. Right, right. But you know, you won't know at the beginning, only because remember, everybody's wearing their mask. Mm-hmm. The greatest indicators of the future that you're having will be to watch their parents, because remember. We learn from watching. Mm-hmm. So they've been watching their parents all their lives. Whatever their mom or their dad's been doing in their life, they've seen it. And they're learning from it. They're growing. I mean, they know it. So you got to ask yourself if that's a part of them now. Mm-hmm. Because if you see something over and over and over again, it becomes a part of you. So if it's a part of you later on in life, it may rear its ugly head on. So like I said, you got to pay attention, not just for them, but sometimes they don't even know themselves. Mm-hmm. They don't know that they've been programmed by watching all this stuff that goes on in their marriage. So you may have one a group of people that sit around there and they arguing all the time. Then all of a sudden you notice that later on in your marriage, oh, there's an argument going on. Why? You didn't even started it. It's just argument for no reason. Mm-hmm. Why? Because she's already there. Right. Sometimes you may have single parent household, single mom. And single dads think differently mm-hmm. than married couples. Right. So now that could be passed on to your daughter, your son. Mm-hmm. So when you get around there and you say, you know what? Boom. She sit around there. And let's say, for example, and this is not all cases, so that we're not just saying this only. Let's say, for example, your mom, I'm, I'm living with a single household. And you know what? Everybody got to grow. Everybody got to move on. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, your mom looking for a new husband. And she goes, I'm living in a single household. So she moves on. She goes see this guy. You know, all of a sudden this guy comes in and all of a sudden, you know, they don't work. And then, you know, what she's trying. I mean, then of course she goes to another guy. Mm-hmm. So I'm seeing all these multiple guys coming in. I'm thinking this is a normal thing now. But you know what? That's only because that's all I see. Mm-hmm. I don't see the part where it says nobody comes in but, but the husband. Nobody comes in but the wife. But that's all I see. That's all I can, that's all I can relate to. Right. So they can be like, oh, man, that could be an indicator of what could happen mm-hmm. if everything is not on the right page with them. So sometimes, you know, it takes a little bit of, of, of uh, emotional things mm-hmm. 
that can sway them into this direction or that direction. But remember, if you sit around there and you say, you know what? You're trying to find somebody who's not lukewarm. You want them either hot or you cold. You don't want them to sit around there because if they're lukewarm, they're going to change them. Mm -hmm. But if they are cold, they're going to be cold all the time. If they're going to be hot, they're going to be hot all the time. Mm -hmm. So you got to make sure if I pick one and says, you know what? I'm going to get one that's going to sit there and I'm going to know who they are because they can act the same way every single time. Rain, sleet, or snow, they ain't changing. Mm -hmm. But if you get one that says, oh, I changed my mind. You change your mind too much, you look warm. You moving left, you get a little more to the cold side, move to the hot side. Whatever side that you think is the advantage at the point at the moment, that's where you're moving to. Right. So we gotta be looking for all of those things and not just looking at what they're saying. A lot of people say anything just to get ahead. They get ahead, I'm gonna get married. I ain't gonna say the wrong things not to get married. Right. Because my goal is to be married. Now remember, when we got the goal. Doesn't mean that we know all the things mm -hmm. that equates to being married. So when you look at the person, take everything as a grain of salt that's only a part of them. You got to look beyond them into their family and find out what's going on there and find out what is their true meaning. What's their definition of, of love? Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's, uh, like I said, there's a whole lot of definitions floating around about love. And uh, a whole lot of people don't understand that when you say something too long and too often, it has no meaning. Mm -hmm. So if I sit around and say, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, except for one thing, but my definition of love is I love you as long as you're doing what I want you to do. Right. But as soon as you stop doing what I want you to do, I don't love you no more. Mm -hmm. So that wasn't love. That was lust of that situation. Right. So when you're looking at marriage, you got to make sure that you're paying attention to everything around you, everything. So you want to be able to know your know your spouse, know know your spouse, uh, know your family. family history. You know, gotta know it. Uh, you want to look to be able to be able to bond with your spouse, mm -hmm. grow with your spouse. Yep, you gotta grow with them. And sometimes it's it, it have to be patient enough to. Take time to work for, work with them if if if, if there's some change need to be made, you know. Right. Because so, so, I guess it was just like in school, like you said, this stuff was taught, was instilled in them. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I might, of course, both of us was went to school. You know, mm -hmm. it, it just just school. My, my my me saying school, me saying growing up. You know, mm -hmm. so I could I grew I could have grew up with a uh, single uh, mother, mm -hmm. or I could have grew up with, with a you know a two parent household. Yeah. So. My way of learning probably was different from yours. We right. probably know some of the same stuff, but right. we, we learned it in a different way. Just like right. in school, like so, I, I, I we probably given a math equation, and I, I probably got my answer, and I know mm -hmm. how I got my answer, and right. you got yours, and yours matched with mine, but you might not know how you got yours, or you right. got it a different way. So we mm -hmm. got to be able to grow with each other, and be able mm -hmm. to uh, be comfortable with undoing some things for to be able to right yoke together. Right, so that goes back to the part where I said, you know what, learning your strengths and your weaknesses. Mm -hmm. But I'm like this, if it ain't my strength, I'm freely to give it up. Because mm -hmm. I've said that ain't my strength. If I sit around talking, ain't my strength, trust me. I ain't going to sit around and be talking. If that's your strength, I'm going to let you do your talk. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to back you up for every step of your way. Now, for example, I'm your backup. And that's okay, right? Like, it's, like it, it's, a, it's a, I know in some occasion, you know, it's okay to step outside the box. But yes, say, mm -hmm. Your wife might be a dancer, and you're not okay. a dancer. So, like okay. I say, they're just you. You 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 not. They're just I'm something not that's not instilled. You don't, you don't do. It. But like, so of right. course, in certain occasions, you might. You know, I'm gonna get up and, right. and try to you know have a, a dance with my wife. So some some stuff is okay with that being you, and then sometimes you do have to step outside of the box to, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, yeah, no, that goes back again. Remember, I transferred my focus is on her. So if she want to dance, we dance. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, I know how to dance, but <laughs> I'm going to move my feet. Right. So, it don't make a difference. One time she said, let's get up on this dance floor. We on this as dance long, floor. As long as it makes her happy. I'm telling you, but I'm not going to sit around and be like, oh, I don't feel like dancing. <laughs> you no, know, most of us get to the point where it's all about ourselves. I don't feel like dancing. I'm, I'm embarrassed about dancing. But I do. And I'm going to ask you about that. I'm going to say, because 
like I can't dance. So if if, Move if, your feet. I, if I can see you smiling, Move your feet. if you happy, I'm happy. I don't care about me embarrassing myself. Uh, if you're not embarrassed, I'm saying hey, we gonna dance. That's <laughs> it. Move your feet. Right. Move your feet. <laughs> so that that's uh that's a good understanding on marriage. Like I said, of course, this you can talk about this for the rest of this year. It's not yeah. it's not no Topic we're talking about it, and we got the right answer to it. And this the end. Right. So it's, oh, it's no. multiple uh, point of views from definitely. Uh, each each experience, each couple for marriage. So definitely, each couple got their own. You know, it's the focus. I mean, it's like, what do you want from it? It's the different people want different things from marriage. Mm-hmm. Some people just want companionship. Mm-hmm. Some people may do like for financial. Some people may do something for like. Some people like. For a uh, 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 showmanship, mm-hmm. just to show somebody off. But the only problem is things don't last if all you're doing is showing. Remember, looking at something, having a beautiful picture is nice. Mm-hmm. Except for one thing, if all I can do is look, I'm going to get bored. Mm-hmm. And that's how most people get it. I remember the initial stage is this, that physical beauty. Mm-hmm. But think about it. If you're just looking at that physical beauty, if you're not getting anything from that being looking at that physical beauty, you're going to get bored, and right. then you're going to start doing something else. So it got to be more than just one thing. you got to start doing all things. Right. you got to remember, if you change the focus on yourself, then you say, you know what? Like that dance, we go dance. Mm-hmm. Oh, she like dancing. We go bowl, and she like bowl. We're going to go bowl. I mean, I know how to bowl, but I'm going to bowl anyway. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to dance, but I'm going to dance anyway. <clears throat> See, that's our focus. we got to change the focus of it. So if you change the focus... The longest it lasts. That's why you see people walking in the mall and you say, you know what? Man, this old couple, they walking hand in hand. Mm-hmm. Been married 56 years, but they sitting there still smiling. Right. And then you say, okay, what's going on? Why? Go ask them. Mm-hmm. What's going on? And then you got to see what's the name. Most people go around and look at other people walking in and be like, oh, you know what? How he get her? Mm-hmm. Oh, he must have money. Sometimes it ain't about money. We think everything is about money. Oh, she looks like a dime piece. He looks like a two piece. Mm-hmm. But therefore, why are they together? You know what? It could be something else. We're looking at just the physical part. Mm-hmm. We ain't look at the things that we want or well, what they want. They may want something else. Maybe they don't want to walk around with somebody with people are always looking at them. Mm-hmm. You know what? If I got to go around and I got to defend myself or, you know what? Sometimes people can be disrespectful. So, if you're looking around, you're trying to get married, you got to look at all of that part going around. What do you really want from it? Right. So if you're going to walk around and all of a sudden, um, let's say, for example, you marry somebody for looks, right? Mm-hmm. She looks beautiful. You walk around. Mm-hmm. Then all of a sudden, you know what? I'm a guy. I see a beautiful woman. I'm going to look. Mm-hmm. You know, I may not want, but I'm going to look. Right. So then if I look, sometimes most people stare. Mm-hmm. How are you going to take it? So if you take it offensively, then what's going to happen when you get home? All that anger you build up, now you finna go and, go and unleash it at house. Mm-hmm. But why you do this? Why? Because you didn't know what you were getting when you got married. Right. So you thinking you were going for one thing, and you got similar. Some people say, go in because I love you. But then they don't understand that the physical part is part of it. And people going to do what people going to do. Mm-hmm. So if I know that you're going to do what you're going to do, I shouldn't get mad. Right. Because if I get mad, I'm going to bring it back to her. But you got to make sure that it's something that your love is stronger than any other love. And it's not about the physical part. It's not about the mental part. It's about your obligation and your standards that you're going to put toward her and what she's going to put toward you. If you also, if you focus on her and she focuses on you, marriage will last a lifetime. Right. And I, I like I like this subject. Uh, like I said, I, I think I'm gonna, like I said, I think we're gonna keep it going. And God, I just think when you when you said like I said, marriage, you see it in different forms. Like you might see somebody who might be, you know, low income, poor couple. Mm-hmm. You know, they they married, they happy, you know, everything yeah. going good. You might see about money. some millionaire, you know, they they yeah. might they they married, they happy, or like I said, in different forms of way, like. Uh, forms of why did they get married? For example, mm-hmm. I'm gonna use uh, Jay Z and Beyonce. Like, mm-hmm. They probably decide to uh, come together for for the bill and, and grow it and, right. and, 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 and just be a power couple. You know, right. you might have some 
who got married because there was a high school sweetheart and yeah. they just love that person to death. Yeah. You know, they enjoy being around them. They mm -hmm. like you might have some who man, she she bad, man. I got I got yeah, to gotta, have gotta, gotta I, have. I got to have. I don't want nobody else to have. So it's right. the different reasons of of to form a, a companionship with somebody. So right. like I say, I'm looking to get every point of view of marriage. I, I this not a, a subject I wanna cover and then just drop. I'm thinking right. about I don't know, just a thought. I might just go around interviewing a married couple, you know, just yeah. asking just, just just a quick interview, just asking no, yeah. hey, you know, how long y'all been married? If you don't mind mm. me asking, you know, uh, what, what what did it take to uh make your marriage work? You know, I mm. I wanna I wanna just try that out and see every point of view of marriage. <laughs> <Okay>. we do <laughs> Is marriage that bad? <laughs> <laughs> we gonna keep it going. Might not have no video. We have audio, so this be my time to edit and put over the uh, okay the, the, over the video. Uh, give us some time, guys. Uh, have some kind of um, power <laughs> issue inside the studio, but uh, yeah. yeah. So I'm, and we gonna keep it going, and I'm, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna try that out for you. I'm gonna interview uh, different uh, couples. Uh, I'm, I'm probably gonna start with this week and try it out. And so our next time we cover this uh, topic of marriage, I'll be able right. to add that on um, different clips inside that. I think that'll be very, very uh, interesting to see different point of views of marriage. Yeah, and then you notice you're gonna notice a lot that that the most people that's married for a long period of time, mm -hmm. you're gonna always see them together. Right. You keep going for open doors okay. a little light. Okay. Always see them together. Every time you walk around, they go to the grocery store together. Right. Every time I see a couple that comes into uh, my job, every almost if they come in every week, they come in every week. But when they come in, they coming in together. Right. They ain't like one man. If the person comes in, or oh, they coming right behind, they park in the car. Right. But they coming in. So also in the marriage, like I said, it's about finding that. Could there you go? Yeah, there you go. That, that sound. That's what they went out on us. All right. By finding that. By finding that connection and working together as one. Mm -hmm. See, remember, we have to mesh this to become one. The only way we're going to become one is we got to do things together. We can't do things separate. Right. But like I said, when you start to interview those people, you're going to find out they're going to do a whole lot of things together. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. as we can see, I thought we were talking about something that we were going to be talking about. <laughs> the lights came back on. So, like, yeah, like I said, I, I, like this, I like this, friend. Let's keep it going, man. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, uh, I guess we're gonna say uh we're gonna name this let's talk about marriage part one we're gonna have these okay. different parts so like so we're gonna keep it going and that work if we decide to bring some on to the show mm -hmm. you know we can do that and like i say i'm gonna go ahead and start working on that this week i'm gonna, I'm gonna probably order another mic i'm gonna walk around with my mic so i can mm -hmm. be able to you know if, if they want to be on camera and be able to speak on i'll you know, ask them a quick yeah. question on What's your output on marriage? Or how did it last? Yeah, we're yeah. we gonna see some of the answers. See Actually, what, what the definition of love is. What's right. different? And see if you know you interview them separately. Right. And find out what her definition or what his definition goes. If they got the same definition, you understand why. But if they got different definition of that word, mm -hmm. it's gonna be hard. Most of them ones who's really young, mm -hmm. the definition of love is different. I wanna do that because I have some questions uh beyond the podcast that I want you know, find some answers to in different point of view. Like mm -hmm. You know, what's your definition of love or what's your love language? You know, yeah. how, you know, it's, it's different stuff. I want to see it in different point of view, mm -hmm. see, you know, and maybe they might help help somebody out there and, yeah. and, and mm -hmm. have a better understanding or might give them confirmation. You know, they mm -hmm. might say, oh, OK, so that is a really a thing or, or mm -hmm. this this not a, a problem that I thought I just had. You know, so right. I think we'll do that, man. And I think that'd be pretty good. That'd be yeah. pretty good. Right. So uh, as of right now. Y'all already know the routine. Get in the comment section to comment your opinion. If we ask some questions today and you have some answers to it, put it in the comment section for mm -hmm. we can know and, and, and you know uh, others can know you know the answers to whatever that question was. So make sure you comment below. Make sure you like the video. Share share it with your spouse. Share mm -hmm. it with your friends. You know, right. be able to use this as a, a stepping stone to grow. Grow your marriage. All right, definitely. Remember, as we grow, you grow. Talking investment, yeah. make, make, making wealth with the cryptocurrency. Nothing to lose like a more Lord and BNB, just a little insurance. I'm popping the flex. Remember when I had to bend a grill? I hated a blessing. Like